So I really like to break it I down. Like so. Owen's uh, psychedelic, psychedelic <laughs> three hour journey, journey of the mind. <laughs> exactly. I, I remember one time we, we had a, we had like an hour and a half to do a free tour in DC, and um, he wanted to get like a green tea first, right? He wanted to get some tea, so I I went with him to get some tea, and then we started talking. Eleven hours later. The staff at the hotel had turned over. We did an 11-hour free tour in Washington, D.C. The sun was coming up. And he was like, that was about two hours, right? I was like, no, dude. It's like 11 hours. There's like five guys still left in the audience. We just kept talking and talking. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, I'm back with, I was going to say R.S.D. Luke, but uh, we'll get to the bottom of what's going on. I'm back with Luke, Luke Croak. Um, you would have known him from... RSD back in the day. Uh, maybe you started 2014. Is that right? Yeah, I probably started with RSD uh, officially 2013, 2014. Um, I was coaching for about eight or nine years before that. Um, and then I would always, I'd always been friends with Owen and some of the guys in RSD. Uh, and it just made sense at that time. I created a program called Vegas Immersion and handed it over to RSD, which Todd coached for a little while. Uh, Todd Valentine or RC Todd or you know whatever he happens to be going by and the, he taught it for a year or two and then I took that back over uh, he moved to New York and then I ran Vegas Immersion uh, that program that I created I originally created that program prior to RSD because I got this great deal on a mansion uh, it was a 16 bedroom mansion I got it for something like 3500 a month and we had um, I had 15 guys living there um, I hired a good friend of mine to help me, um, to help me coach it. And then I also was in a, uh, I had a business partner with that. Um, that was a really fun project. The minimum, uh, amount of time that somebody, uh, learned from me was 12 months. So I had one guy in there for three years. Um, I had a couple guys in there for two years, but 12 months, it was, so it was like full immersion, right? Uh, we went out seven nights a week, um, four or five days a week. Uh, it was, it was a really cool project. And then, uh, you know, Owen and I decided that it would be a good fit for me to join up with RSD. And then at that point forward, I taught boot camps every single weekend. Um, so I did a couple hundred boot camps with RSD and I had taught a few hundred boot camps prior to RSD. So it was a, it was a really good experience. Nice. Oh, that's crazy. I forgot about Vegas immersion actually. It's like <laughs> years go by, you forget these things. Uh, that must be so how long, how long was Vegas immersion going on for? Uh, my initial version of Vegas Immersion. So I was teaching three-day boot camps with a company called Pway Training, Gambler, uh, Adam Lyons. Uh, Adam and I were doing the American side of the three-day workshops. And then Gambler's team was doing the, the English side, the London side. Uh, and I, so Adam and I taught a few hundred of those programs. And then I decided I wanted to work with uh, very specific guys. Uh, my social, I, I started creating the Soul Circle Blueprint concepts uh, that a lot of guys are teaching and learning nowadays. Uh, and I started teaching those concepts because I would see guys that were uh, not, you know, in college, guys that weren't broke, guys that, you know, nothing against, you know, younger guys or guys in that situation. But I just found that social circle was the best way to get into the most exclusive parties, uh, the best way. I mean, the most I started out as I mean, I had a big blue mohawk. I wore platform boots and, you know, I was <laughs> I was I, I did everything that, you know, uh, I, mean, I, I, I used to go out with Neil Strauss and Ross Jeffries and all these guys back in the day. And. Um, I just, you know, on day one, I went from computer programmer to big blue mohawk, right? And I just like, yo, let me just jump in the deep end. So I was cold approaching 50 girls a day for two, three years before I developed all the social circle concepts, right? And I just realized I love cold approach. I was telling you before this that, um, you know, I have such nostalgia for old school pickup. Uh, you know, it gets a bad name online, but at the end of the day, that nostalgia got me over approach anxiety. It got me over, I mean, I was starting out as a as a computer programmer nerd, right? So for me, all of the, you know, some of the worst pickup coaches in the world, I still respect because they're still helping people to some degree. You know what I mean? Uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for even the old school techniques because, you know, what got you here won't get you there. It's a concept in business, but that's why I developed the social concepts and then Vegas Immersion because, you know, I don't really like Vegas anymore. It's it's got it's got kind of gotten very corporate, but back in the day, Vegas was just the spot where you could. Um, you know, you could literally meet anyone you wanted to meet because everyone was flying into Vegas at the time. Miami is kind of the new Vegas. Um, Vegas is booming, but it's it's more corporate, whereas Miami is a little more Wild West still. Um, but the reason why I came up with the social concepts in Vegas Immersion is I just realized you can only get so good in a three day boot camp. You can't really uh, develop your your pro your skills the way you need to if you really want to get good at this. So I only wanted to work with the most dedicated guys, guys that were entrepreneurs, professionals. 
guys that had some success in their day-to-day life and then wanted the utmost success when it comes to meeting women. Um, you know, not just meeting the above average girl, but uh, that, that, that woman who's a model for Wilhelmina, right? That girl that, you know, you see sitting next to Leonardo DiCaprio. So we developed a bunch of techniques just to even be around these types of women um, and then how to actually date that type of girl. And that's where Vegas Immersion came from. So Vegas Immersion, I was running that for about five, six years um, if you combine prior to RSD and then with RSD. Uh, 